Hello, everyone. This is Akata again. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to bring you into a journey in Lionsgate from last year, 2023, to this year, 2024. In particular, through the transiting movement of Venus, the goddess of the queen of heaven. And we see how the transiting Venus moving in our sky, bringing us into a complete cycle from last year. And I also want to bring in the energy of sacred union of Karen as divine masculine and charical as divine feminine and through their position also between these two years there is some interesting pattern and at the end of course during the Leo season we can only mention nonetheless Big Star Regulus, which is, as we know, one of the four royal star, and Regulus in particular is related to Archangel Raphael, the healing of the heart. And so, if you would like a consultation with me, regarding your love journey, please visit my website, becominglotus.org. So to begin, I want to bring us back to last year, 2023, during the Leo season. Last year, Venus has gone through a very particular cycle. Instead of just around one month um, presence in each zodiac sign, she started a journey in Leo since June. And during station retrograde, retrograde and forward movement, she stayed in Leo for a total of four months from June to October. And in this period, okay, she entered in Leo in June last year. And with her forward movement, just when she was about to leave Leo on the 22nd of July, at an anoretic degree, 29th degree of Leo, she starts stationed retrograde. And this retrograde movement finished only in September. And then she moved forward again until the beginning of October, 3rd of October, I think. And so what does that really mean? And by the way, during this period, she entered into a period of morning star. Until this year in April 2020. Already when Venus entered Leo, that has this influence of bringing out our, our love expression and Leo as a, with his ruling planet, with the sun, that Leo wants to bring everything out to be. I am here, look at me. And when Venus coming in and it 
also enhance his his heart, his emotion. But since last year Venus was going retrograde for so long, for almost a month period, it was a period bringing the Leo from the pedestal come back down to drop into his heart to see certain issues and I think when Venus having such an important influence no she is actually asking us to look deep and seeing through the energy of Leo what about the self-love that I should have and have for myself what is my divine essence as a person with my energy in both divine feminine and as Venus and divine masculine as Leo do I have enough self-confidence in the person that I am the person that I am becoming and as a person how do I integrate the love hope in me with me and how I share my love value what is my heart expression and I also think that in this playing between Leo and Venus, we are also being asked to be authentic, to let our authenticity to come out in its truest form. So in this four months of Venus last year, staying in, in Leo, it started this dance of going deep and go back. You see the person that we were and through this process of Venus back and forth, we ask us those questions I just mentioned and And I think this healing journey very interestingly coincides with the cycle of the nodal axis entering North Node in Aries and South Node in Libra. And so now the divine masculine energy of North Node in areas, the reclaiming of the self, of the I am, my self identity, and an evaluation of our relationship with another person in Libra that usually in our chart is the seventh house regarding our one to one relationship. So with the South Node in Libra, in the seventh house, what kind of old pattern 
that we should reconsider, re-evaluate, and the shedding of old wounds, old patterns. How do we consider now our relationship with another person, the significant others? Talking at the same time with Venus in Leo, dropping deep into our heart, finding, discovering the deepest emotion, feeling our divine essence through the heart. And this year, and so through these four months, an exceptional long period for us to evaluate how we love ourselves and hence how we can share this love first of all to ourselves as self-love areas with no knowledge and share it with the significant others self-note in Libra And last year, when Venus was in Leo, we also have Lilith. From my previous video of Lilith in Libra, it is such an amazing journey of these two divine feminine. Lilith was there in Leo together with Venus in finding the divine feminine energy in us. Lilith was there inviting us also to look into our shadow into our fear, into our subconscious, what we couldn't, didn't, wouldn't look at. And this year, Lily, she entered in Libra since the end of June. And this brings us into 2024 energy of Lion's Gate. After one year of journey, of finding our deepest feelings, our heart, facing our shadow, Lilith entered Libra and she is going to join conjunct with the self node attempt at the same time after this lion gate where Venus is going the onward movement as she has been looking deep through the heart of the lion and she is going to meet with Lilith in September in Libra and also the South Node. Every healing work 
inner works that we have done since the last year. And we have this perfect portal opportunity to see the kind of progress, healing progress that we have done. And with them both together and with self note, we get this opportunity to evaluate once again, to look back as a whole what we have done. Is there still some aspect in our life that we haven't dealt with yet. It's very potent, this divine feminine energy. And what about at the end of the chart? Opposite Libra, we have Aries, North Node, and with, with him, we have iron, the wound healer that has been making this dance with North Node conjunct. And while the North Node moving backward as an axis in our chart, Chiron since last year with his forward movement but he is retrograding talking with Lilith and Venus on the opposite hand to see the healing that we have done As he is going retrograde, another invitation for us to look back, for us to look back with our progress, still conversing with Leo, with Sun Lin Leo. As Chiron, as the wounded healer, if we use him as a part that show the masculine, the divine masculine, to face our past hurt of him being abandoned by both his parents, and going through this process aim with his life to become the greatest builder in the mythology world. The sacrifice that he has done as a teacher, a mentor to the Olympian, But he didn't do all his work by himself. He has his divine counterpart, Jericho. As his wife of Jericho, how she supported him as divine counterpart that how she assists through his journey and Jericho represent such a deep feminine 
caring, supportive energy in us. And what happened last year? Where were they during the Lion Gate? Jericho was in Aquarius. Aaron was in Aries, 19 degree, and Jericho at 10 degree. They were forming this almost squaring that they were giving each other, talking with each other. We can do better. We need to face whatever that we are doing, that the healing that we are doing, we need to confront it. It's an opportunity to see deep into also the relationship between the divine union. Aquarius is opposite Leo. Venus in retrograde last year with Lilith. This just blow my mind of how this divine feminine energy connecting with the divine masculine energy through Chiron in Aries and Leo with the sun. How they this interplay between the zodiac sign and the planetary movement. So since last year, they were in these squaring positions, talking with each other from between Heron and Jericho. Come on, we can do this. And this year, what happened? They are still in the same signs. Jericho is still in Aquarius, 15 degree. And Chiron at this moment is in retrograde in Aries, 23 degree. Still the same portion of almost a square. And they were igniting each other, still going into this healing process because Chiron is in retrograde. I said before that an invitation to look back what we have done since last year. And I think when Venus conjunct the South Node in Libra on the 3rd of September. It is almost the closing of this one year journey of Venus energy since last year, June, when she entered Leo and it it is closing through this lion gate but I think the final moment would be on the 2nd of October when we are going to have a solar eclipse in Libra with Venus in the house And we have been going through this nodal axis with eclipse between Libra and Aries since last year in October. And we close this year, Libra. And with all this hard work, while we are 
rediscovering the self-love for ourselves, our value, our expression, our heart expression of our authenticity. I think also we can move through this energy also during Leo season we have nonetheless Archangel Raphael in Leo constellation as regulus a fixed star. Regulus. The watcher of With his green ray, the healing of the heart. That inviting us, giving us assistance, go through trials and tribulations in our life, so we can emanate, emanate really the true essence of the heart. I would like to invite you. If you have your galactic astrology charts done, to look at if you have regulus in your chart, where it is, in which sign connected with which planet, that is. An area that you are invited to heal, to see through your heart, or deal with your heart, to heal your heart. And I think in some way through this nodal axis of of libra and aries since last year and it will finish at the end of this year it is really a a cycle of 18th month together with this cycle of venus through the lion gate since last year a complete cycle of finding our truth, our our authentic self. Sometimes we need to get, we need to give ourselves a pack at the back. You have done well. I have done well go back and see who you were last year during lion's gate you yeah. what have shifted how much you have understand you have understood the person that you are today and give yourself heck And be proud as Leo, as Lion Game, of what you have achieved. So, nonetheless, of a lion. 
And with that, I say thank you. From my heart to yours, if you would like a consultation, visit my website, becominglotus.org. Thank you. I see you.